Hello, my name is Gary Britland. We're at St. James's Church Kirk. And one of the most important graves in the graveyard is Frederick Gatti. He invented Karkidai, in Karkidai. he painted it, and he was born in 1819. He died in 1888. He lived at Elmfield Hall in 1855. He formed FA Gatti and Co. in 1843 at Hagworks on Highburn Road. And they did major printing and dyeing in the area. And uh, eventually he passed away and he's buried here in this church and a massive influence on the printing and dyeing industry. Uh, the khaki dye still used today in the uh, army's uniform. It, it's dust colour, khaki means dust colour. And uh, so much so, he was loved so much by his children and that. They uh, put a memorial in the church at Reridos. Uh, a ceramic tapestry which is about the height of that point you can see along the wall and it goes all the way around the church and it's images of Jesus Christ wonderful images and uh, the Reridos was installed in 1906 they paid £550 then it now equates to about £60,000 and it's still in the church it's a great work of art and uh, the people that put it in the church was William Powells, uh, Whitefriars of London, a company who are very famous and still do Whitefriars glass. And uh, they installed it then, and a, a massive company uh, in the art world. And uh, they, they were influenced by William Morris. William Morris was a, a designer and um, he uh, had a lot, made a lot of tapestries and uh, he did a lot of dyeing and printing and uh, we'll just find his details here William Morris, uh, 1834, 1896 textile designer, poet, social activist studied at Oxford and uh, he designed wallpaper, fabrics, furniture, stained glass and uh, a lot of the colours were from the madder plant which is a red colour, pinky red colour which grows just down the hill here. So that's why these people came, uh, because the, the plant was growing in abundance. And Willie Morris was part of the pre Raphaelite Secret Society founded in 1848. And uh, he did, designed all these images along with his best friend, he was from Essex, his best friend was Edward Byrne Jones. And, he was born 1833 while 1898. He was a British artist and designer. He designed stained glass windows mainly and possibly had this influence in this Rodos at the back of the church. The images are wonderful. And these stained glass windows, he, he made some stained glass windows for the church, Edward Burn Jones, uh, with William Morris. Burn Jones designed them and William Morris helped create them with uh, John Henry Durrell, another master. He was a young master then. And Will William Morris and they worked together and made these stained glass windows, which were put in the church, 1888. There was then a massive factory blast at William Bly's, which mainly uh, damaged them and they had to be reinstalled in 1917 was the blast. Uh, TNT uh, was produced or stored at the factory and because of the war there was not much information come from the factory blast but it actually tore this church out nearly because it was in direct line and it blew the windows out uh, there was not much left so they repaired them Edward Bird Jones a well-known uh, designer and uh, it was a very good friend of William Morris and they both studied at Oxford and uh, designed windows uh, for cathedrals all over the UK. They were well known in the UK and uh, these people that did calico printing because they had so much money they got the best in the country to come here and put this artwork into the church uh, because money was no limit. So we'll leave, uh, leave there, we'll move on. Thank you.